everybody, this is Bug Ass Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Arkham Asylum Killer Croc Mega Fig. So before we take a look at Killer Croc, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, he comes with your standard DC Multiverse base, but he stands pretty well on his own. Up next, he comes with his data file, and I believe this is uh, this Killer Croc shot right here is a promo from before the game was released. This is the image I think of when I think of Arkham Killer Croc. And if you want to read that, go ahead and pause that now. So taking a look at the head sculpt, McFarlane Toys did an awesome job on this. The sculpt is really good. All of the scales and the spikes on his skin look very nice. He's got a nice black wash over the top of his head. He has the shading around the eyes. The weird thing, though, is they didn't give him pupils. Um, that's the that's the one weird thing about the figure. Um, if you look... I got it upside down. If you look at the shot there of the figure, he has very tiny pupils. He also has a little bit of shading around his mouth. So it is weird that they didn't include that. Um, another major thing is they didn't include the chain around his neck. They actually included this around his neck, but not the chain. The chain goes right here. So at some point, I'm definitely going to customize this and show off what that looks like. I'm going to add some chains and probably a black wash over his skin. All of his scales are sculpted very nicely, and they actually have some paint detail over top of them. He has that lighter tone over top of the scales painted on, and that looks very nice. I am going to do a black wash on him, though, because I think a black wash would bring out all those details very nicely and get in between all of the plates there, so that would look really cool. He does have some shading there on his back, more of that black wash, and that looks really, really nice. He even has a little bit of a black wash right here on his sides, but it stops right there. I would have preferred them to just do a black wash on the arms and the torso right here. Um, they wouldn't have necessarily had to have done it on the back, but I do think they should have done it over the front of him. I think that would have looked good. He has his wrist restraints, and if I remember right, he actually had chains hanging from the back of them. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure there were chains somewhere on these. His open left hand is sculpted really nicely. He's got nice pointed gloss black claws and even a black wash in, on the inside of his hand. That's why I think it's really odd about this figure is it does have a black wash in some places. Like uh, right here on top of the hand and then right here on the inside of the left arm. But he doesn't have any on the front of him. Uh, that's really where it needs it. His prison pants are sculpted very nicely, some very, very nice texturing to them. And the rope around it holding them up looks really good. It's done in a really soft, pliable material, and it even has a black wash over top of it. The one weird thing is you can see that there's a glossy plastic right here. Um, they use flat for this piece right here and flat for the knees, but it's really glossy right here. He has some really nice dirt at the bottom of his pants. I think that looks really good. I feel like this is kind of too perfect right here, this line. You can tell where the dirt starts, and this one looks like it fades into the dirtiness. Uh, so I do wish that this uh, right side would have been, you know, it would have faded into that collar, not been a line right there. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation for Croc. He has a ball-jointed head that can look up all the way. He can't look down at all because of this collar piece, but he can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move all the way out. As you can see, there's enough clearance so the scales don't rub on this, they don't uh, tear up. He has single jointed elbows that can just about bend in all the way. He has swivel thrust that can move up and down and spin all the way around. It is a little bit of a crunchy joint, but it can spin all the way around. He has a ball jointed diaphragm and waist that can crunch all the way back. He can barely crunch forward all the way. He can move side to side up here side to side down here at the waist. He can do a complete split. He is uh, very flexible in the legs. I was surprised about that. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back all the way. He has a very, very nice thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees, swivel at the ankle that can move down very slightly, up very slightly. Uh, can't really spin all the way around because this is kind of a hard material. And he has toes that can move up all the way. So now let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here he is next to the Arkham Asylum Batman figure. And I have to say, I don't remember this figure not standing as much as it is right now. Um, the cape is just getting in the way so much of him standing up straight. But uh, anyways, there Batman is next to him. Here he is next to the Joker. And I forgot to mention, I think the size difference on these figures is pretty correct with what's been established as uh, Killer Croc's in-game height. If I remember right, um, Killer Croc's height is over 8 feet tall 
and Joker is just a little bit over six feet tall, so there's about a two foot difference between them. And finally, here he is next to the NECA Harley Quinn figure. So overall, I would highly recommend picking this croc up. Um, he is a really awesome figure. He does have some inaccuracies to his design, but that's something I can fix myself. And I might do a video in the future uh, showing how I customize him. So yeah, other than the design not being totally incorrect, I think he is a really awesome figure. I missed out on the original Arkham Asylum Killer Croc figure, and he's pretty pricey now. So definitely pick this version up. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.